the Sleep Queen and I are here today because I'd like to talk to you about my brand new Ecosa memory foam pillow. I'm going to show you what it looks like, tell you what it's made of and tell you what it feels like to sleep on it. Hmm. <laughs> when you first get your Ecosa pillow, comes in a box and you think how on earth can there be a pillow in that skinny box they've sucked all the air out and you get the pillow inserts to adjust the height a travel bag and a little booklet telling you how to use and how to care for your new contour pillow so you get your dehydrated pillow Open it up, take it out the bag, and watch it grow. It has a zippered case, which you can remove, which is a really nice, soft, textured fabric. And this can be thrown in the washing machine and just washed like normal. There's your naked pillow made of memory foam. It has can you see them? Lumps and bumps. And there you have it. Your pillow looks like this. You've got your outer cover, which is removable and washable in the machine. The pillow itself is made of memory foam and it's got stuff in it called activated charcoal and I've got no idea what activated charcoal is so I had to have a search and activated charcoal is charcoal that has been treated and processed at a really high temperature and it changes it changes it in some way I'm not a science person and you're not here to hear about science you're here to hear about my pillow so you've got your memory foam pillow and inside the memory foam mixed with it is this activated charcoal stuff which is apparently a really good thing it helps keep your pillow cool and that's something that I have noticed already it, my pillow I wake up through the night on one of these it constantly flips my pillow over to get the cool side I haven't had to do it with this the activated charcoal also absorbs moisture and it absorbs odors so if you're a, a smelly sweater this could help solve that problem you can either lay on it on the narrow side on the high side and if you find that it's still not quite high enough that's where these things come in you simply unzip the back, poke one of these in. I have actually been using one of these inserts. I found the pillow on its own wasn't enough, wasn't high enough. And I put the insert in and I thought, how's it going to stay still? Surely it must slide around and, and get all twisted inside the pillowcase, but it doesn't. So put it in nice and flat. Zip it up, and now your pillow is that little bit higher, and it is so comfortable. Now, if you're going somewhere, you want to take your pillow with you, you can store it flat or roll it up and put it in its little bag. Slip it in the bag. Zip it closed. You squeeze this little clip together quite firmly as you squeeze it and slide it along. Take off the cap, get your little vacuum, stick it over the hole. back on 
one. How good is that? Now, if you don't have a vacuum, you can roll it by hand. Zip it closed. So that you've got just a little bit of space left for the air to escape. And then very slowly, roll it by hand. I thought it would be really hard to do this. It's much easier than I thought. And you just keep rolling and squeezing as you go. It squeezes the air out. When you're happy that it's air empty, oh bugger, slide it closed and put it in its little baggie and there you go. Now if you're a side sleeper or a back sleeper, it's pretty easy to see how the contour pillow is going to be more comfortable and more supportive for your neck. But if you're like me, I'm one of those weirdos that sleeps half on their stomach, half on their side, with one arm stuck up underneath the pillow. And I thought, how on earth is this going to be comfortable with me in that sleeping position? It's big, it's high, it's quite firm. I thought this is, I didn't, I actually didn't think it would be very comfortable at all. But I was wrong. Now, up until recently, I've been using a squishy pillow. And you can get it and squeeze it and shove it and poke it and bash it into any way you want. So to go from this to this, I thought it would be a problem. It is super comfortable. Even though it's quite firm, it's soft at the same time. And even though I sleep in that weird half side, half front, arm under the pillow section, it still conforms, is that the right word? Conforms <laughs> to my, my head and my neck. And it was super comfortable. So there you have it. That's what I think of my Ecosa memory foam pillow. Clearly, I'm pretty happy with it. If you'd like to know more, there is a link down in the description box, which will take you to the Ecosa website. You can have a look at not only their pillows, but some of their other stuff as well, which I also have their sheets, their quilt, and their quilt cover and I'll be doing a review on those at some point in the future so make sure you stick around and look out for those ones because those sheets oh my <laughs> there are no words to describe how amazing those sheets are so I'll be doing a review on those sheets sometime soon oh sorry Lucy I think I'm interrupting her sleep I'll leave her to it and I will see you next time at home with Karen and Lucy. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe, and then share it with your friends.